So where in the Northeast can you camp, ride the trails, be in the mud, climb the hills, and go into a full-size mine with your whole team and enjoy? Stay tuned, we're going to show you. Mines and Meadows. Well, we've been here 15 years. My father started the place. Um, I've been running it for the last seven years. We've been continuing trying to do improvements. You can see the facility behind me. Um, you know, we did a large paving project last year and we're, we, we're trying to expand, trying to get bigger. We almost bought the golf course, but somebody beat us to it. And uh, yeah, we're excited about what the future holds and the Awesome. Well, the sport is the sports just growing right everybody yeah, yeah, wants sure. to be outside that's that's the that's the new thing and and uh, we're welcoming everybody thank so. you uh, not a, not a fun day huh no it's always raining so once we got into the park and I do have to say the organization uh, was very good we pulled up and everybody was in line already you do pick a time slot online when you register and it allows to not have huge lines people show up at a regulated time and they get in they'll give you a little bit of leeway on that but make sure that you do get there on the right time we actually were impressed uh, we got parked pretty easy the parking spots are multi-graded in different levels we did have enough room for our trailers uh, it's organized well and the staff does a great job once we got all unloaded and we got everything ready to get on the trail we headed out and we were going to meet up with some other friends who were already camping there but to get to that campsite we had to take the outer loop and we headed out to do some ride Trails are well marked and they're very well numbered. You can get a paper map and we also used Onyx to get ourselves around, but you really didn't need to. As long as you knew what trail went where, the paper map was fine. They did a good job in identifying more difficult and less difficult trails. So they did a good job there, so kudos to them. And 
as we enter, they gave us special instructions, single file here, and then we would pull up and double file once we got inside. You can feel the cool breeze as we entered the mine. It always stays a 55 degree constant temperature, as the guide told us. And it's all limestone mines, so it's very different from what you may see up here in Pennsylvania or other locations. Very cool to be able to take a ride in here and bring your side-by-sides. They just ask you don't tear the place up, and uh, I guess that means no wheelies, no skid-outs, no donuts, <laughs> nothing uh, that would wreck the floor. But it is very cool to be inside, and it's very cavernous. So definitely if you get a chance to get down here, it's an extra $5 above and beyond the entry fee. We'll let you watch the rest of it and uh, all the comments and hijinks that you may expect in a dark mine. Uh, you know, there's no signal in here. I'm recording, but not live. Just me and my little dome light here. I farted in your general. Just don't drop your keys. It's a little dark. Somebody's touching my butt. Shane, get your hand off me. And now you got to pay $100 to get out. 
Oh. <laughs> Where's the canary? Yeah, you check your drawers. <laughs> I blew a hole right through the door. <laughs> After the mines, there was always more mud and water to find, and so the team did some exploring, see where they could ride, see where they could get stuck, and just overall, I think mines and meadows, when you go, it's always going to be wet. Like some other locations, there are just better days to go, and if you go after a rainstorm, it's going to be really sloppy. Nonetheless, still a great place to go, and just be ready to have a change of clothes. Good mud is good fun. <laughs> Slightly wet, moist. Uh, it went. It was up the butt. So your your seat's wet now. <laughs> There's always some hills there too, so it doesn't matter if you have an ATV, dirt bike, or side-by-side, -side, you won't feel left out. And we'll see some of the larger ones in our drone montage later in this video. But no matter what your preference, you'll find it at Mines and Meadows, so be sure to explore the whole map. Everybody was enjoying this section of the park. Just a good long mud hole that you could pick your depth depending where you went. And everybody was having a great time. So we decided that we would just film quite a bit of this. And it didn't matter if you had an ATV or a side by side, we saw everybody go through at least once.
foot test. You're not doing it? No. He's stretching. submarine Keep your arms inside the vehicle at all times. Thanks to our sponsor, Evolution Power Sports, your go-to location for off-road pre-owned vehicles. Check them out, and while you're at it, also check out our online store.
team had a great time out at Mines and Meadows, and we're going to try to get back out there and do some camping. It is not a huge facility, but it does have great trails, they're well manicured, there's mud holes, there's hills, you name it, and the mine tour is very cool. Their store carries everything, and I mean everything. Parts and accessories, stickers, clothing, you name it, and I understand they now have a mechanic on hand. So that makes your day less worrisome, and you can just get out there and have fun. We recommend that you get out to Mines and Meadows. We appreciate you taking the journey with us. So hopefully, we'll see you out there on the trail. Thanks.